Yo, what is going on everybody? Hope y'all having a good morning. Illumi coming at ya. Back for another one. And this morning, I'm back with a new lay viewing. We've been on a roll this week. We've been on a roll. I've been through so much lay content. You know, I say so much because, you know, I didn't know him at all before. You know, I didn't really, really know him. Last time I watched Lay's uh, What You Need. And that was a nice, quirky, groovy song. And you guys recommended to me Lay's Lose Control. Now, um, thanks for all the suggestions. You guys told me like the sequence of how, um, you know, one should uh, ideally watch or be introduced to Lay's solo work. Now, there were a ton of suggestions. But I think the overwhelming one was to watch Lose Control next. Lose Control. That, may, that reminds me of a Sierra's Lose Control. Anybody know that? Uh, let me know if you guys know Sierra's Lose Control. That's an that's a old uh, American track. But Lose Control by Lane. Now, you know, if I think about the sequence, you know, I started kind of, I guess, backwards. You know, I started with his newest stuff first. And then I went back to his old stuff. But um, his very first one apparently was not um, What You Need, but it was an SM Station song. I think it was Mono Rama. Um, I wanted to watch that first, but um, it felt like you guys thought that um, Lose Control would be a more suitable option right after watching What You Need. So I'm going to watch this one. Um, so yeah, let's get back into the sequence. What you need, assuming like that's his first or second song. That was more of a groovy one. Um, the camera work and the dancing kind of reminded me of Growl a little bit, but, but it wasn't the same, obviously. This, the, what you need was more kind of, felt more, more, how should I say? More happy and quirky. Uh, whereas Growl was, um, that was cool, that was groovy. By the way, guys, I love the growl dance. I love it as in I, I really dance it. So, you know, if y'all want to see it, maybe it one day, you know, I'll show you. That dance is so fun. But anyways, um, what you need and lose control. So I, I'm kind of trying to fit the puzzles in of guessing like what he did in the sequence. But I guess I'm a little too early right now. Like I've only seen one song and the other two songs the other couple of songs are just more recent. Um, I don't think I can really predict what he's going to do. Um, lose control. So, I mean, I think that, I think that lets, the title lends itself to a dance track. But obviously, there's so many ways you can dance to a song. You know, it can be hip-hop. It can be kind of electronic, trap. So many varieties. So, really, I don't know. Once again, guys, you know, I'm in for the ride. So... Without further ado, let's get into Lay's Lose Control. Let's go! Composed by Lay and arranged by Lay. I see paintings. Lay in a suit. It sounds... Oh! Dang, he looking, he looking suave there. Okay, much more serious than anything I've seen from him so far. Oh, Woo! I like when he does that move. He does that a lot. How to do it? Oh, baby. Lay loves hat. Woo! Yo, that, that outfit is fire with this yellow turtleneck. 
I'm getting rain vibes here. P? Obviously, they're different, but. What's he talking about? Hey. Yeah, his his hair looks fire. In the water. Whoa. Oh, that, that was cool. That was nice. Oh snap! Hey. This feels the, this feels the, oh, <laughs> this feels the most, uh, feel like it's the most I've seen Lay sing. Lay about to turn into a wolf. Oh, all right. All those paintings were part of his story. Oh, it's the moon. Wolf. Oh! Alright guys, just watched Lay's Lose Control. Now, I will say, I didn't expect that. Um, that totally gave me like kinda, um, what do you call that, the genre of this song? Like, dance ballad? I don't know, it was like very like guitar heavy and like kinda sounds. Um, I didn't expect that. But I should have, you know, I should have known. Um, if anything, Lei has shown us that, like, he's so versatile. Like, he does everything and he can pull off everything. So let's get into the song. I mean, it was obviously good. I will say, though, that guys, and, you know, I'm gonna be, like, completely honest with, with you guys. Whenever I do this kind of stuff, I'll be honest. It's not my kind of song. Um, it, it's not really my kind of song. So, you know, I would never, you know, I'll be, I'm just being honest, I would never go out of my way to listen to it, like, on my own. Um, yeah, I feel like someone said, when, when you, know, you guys suggested that, you know, I watch, I had to watch this after What You Need, um, I assumed that it'd be kind of similar, or something like that, um, but it wasn't, it wasn't, and that's cool. Um, you gotta appreciate the fact that he's, he's just mad versatile, right? Um, but the music, um, it really reminded me of like P for some reason, something Rain would do back in the day. So I'm, I'm glad he got that off the checklist, you know, I'm glad he got it off the checklist. Um, the music video itself, that was the part with where he's like walking through the paintings was cool. That really stood out to me. And also when he goes underwater and then like he comes back out, but he's in the moonlight. Um, Yo, who else got vibes that he was like a werewolf or something? I got those vibes for some reason. You know, it was like dark and he had the moonlight everywhere. So I think, you know, um, after what you need, you know, that, that uh, those like lit up eyes were not for nothing. You know, Lay's Le turning into his wolf self, you know, um, breaking them hearts, you know what I mean? Uh, being a bad boy werewolf. Um, his dancing, 
You know, like I said, I think this dancing is good for him too. Because he's so fluid, um, I think it suits him well. Well, one thing about Lay's dancing, I will say, I think his strong point is like, it's really precise. Precise, but it's not, in, but in, it's impactful. It's pre precise yet impactful, you know? And it's fluid, like those three, you know? Uh, whereas Kai's, um, I just bring him up to bring up a comparison, but Kai's feels very like chaotic in a way, you know? Um, and that's why it's so like, he's so full of swag when he dances, you know? It feels a little like um, out of control, you know what I mean? So I think those are kind of like different styles. Just my take, you know, just, you know, my quick take on it. But um, I think Lay's dancing suits us super well. You know, I, I'll be honest once again. Uh, do I like dancing in this context where he's like going all slow to like slow like ballad music? No, it, it's not really my thing. Um, but like I said, I can appreciate what he did. You know, it's very different from anything I've seen from him. And you know, I'm glad he can digest that and make it digestible for, uh, you know, his fans. So that's really cool. Anyways, guys. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. At the end. Um, once again, at the very end shot, I swear I got, like, wolf vibes. And I know there are a lot of haters for this, but, like, wolf, wolf by EXO, like, that was, that was my thing. Actually, that track was when I first heard an EXO track. But the thing is, back then, like, I wasn't really, um, I didn't really know about EXO either back then. You know, I, I randomly heard my friend have a ringtone for the, for the, like, title. Um, and um, I was just like, what is this? And then I only found out about them, like, years later. So that is just a funny tidbit. But, yeah, guys. Um, seven Days of Lay. I just call it Seven Days of Lay because... Um, we on a roll with the lay titles. Um, I don't know which one the next one was in the sequence. I think I'll go by sequence. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to check out the sequence of, you know, lay content. All right, I Need You was next. Huh, I wonder what that's gonna be like. And the right after I Need You is Sheep, so I'm pretty caught up in, in a way. I Need You. Like just based on the title, it sounds a little like ballady, like this one. But I feel like he wouldn't have done the same thing afterwards. I feel like he did something different. I don't know. You guys also suggested uh, a video called a guide to Lay's uh, galaxy um, or something like that but I think it was basically kind of showing us different sides of Lay so I'm gonna definitely watch that one I'm looking forward to that one actually anyways guys um, hope you enjoyed my reaction and viewing of this song like I said uh, this this just this genre of this type of song is not really my thing but I wanted to give you guys an honest opinion, um, especially because like, you know, I'm a, you know, as a new, a new, new individual who's a lay fan, you know, uh, thought it would be interesting for you guys to see what my take is on it. Uh, once again, to reiterate, my favorite track so far is uh, Give Me a Chance. Uh, that's, that's by far my favorite. And, you know, I would have never expected that a song like that would be my favorite track, but it is just so catchy it was so well made and lay like just kills it on that track that was really made for him that track was made for him so i'm gonna do i need you next time that was a good one to see lay um so excited to see you back come back with the group too but i gotta go through your solo stuff you know i gotta i gotta learn more about you so next time we'll react to i need you Guys, I hope you had a good time watching and enjoying this with me, and I will see you next time. Peace.